Olá pessoal, pronunciation. I've noticed some students of mine struggle a little bit with it, mainly with the vowel sounds. Because of that, I decided to put together a lesson where you will learn the Portuguese oral vowel sounds and the nasal vowel sounds. Huh? You'll have the chance to practice each sound as you learn some travel-related vocabulary, which may come in handy the next time you come to Brazil. By the way, since it's a pronunciation lesson, I highly recommend that you repeat after me out loud. It's very important that you listen to yourself. Yes, as you speak. Are you new to our channel? Oh, then subscribe, catch up on the lessons you have missed and hit the notification bell so that you know every time there is a new video, a new post in the community tab. Portuguese has five vowels, but 13 vowel sounds, mm -hmm. being eight oral sounds and five nasal sounds. Let's see the oral sounds first. Ah, I can have a more open and strong sound, as in cidade, repeat, cidade, cidade, see? My mouth is wide open, cidade. Embarque, embarque. Horário de embarque, horário de embarque. Yeah, so my mouth is wide open when I make the sound. It may have the written accent or not, but whenever it does, it must be open, horário. By the way, below is the link to the lesson on written accents. Watch it after this one, yeah? Well, besides this open sound, A ah, also has a more closed and not so strong sound, as in turista. It's not turista. 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 Fileira. Fileira. Yeah? Let's see some words that have both open and closed sounds and look how much I open my mouth to pronounce each vowel. Yeah? So let's see our first word. Entrada. Entrada. Mapa. Mapa. Yeah? It's not mapa. 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 E has a more open sound, E, and a more closed sound, E. Let's see the open sound first. The open sound is similar to the vowel you have in words such as pet, get, E. Repita. E. In Portuguese, we find this sound in words like aberto, aberto. Férias. Férias. It may have the written mark on it or not, but when it does, it must be open. Férias. Now, the closed E is similar to the first part of A in words like way, say, a useful tip. Take the word say, break it in two parts. Say, E. Se, e. We want the first part. Se. Se. So now we'll meet the s sound. E. E. There you go. There you have E. The closed E sound. In Portuguese, we have the sound in words like fechado. So E. Fechado. Fechado. Agência. Agência. It may have the written mark on it or not, but when it does, in this case, it must be closed. Agência. It's very important that you practice both E and E because there are words in Portuguese that have the same spelling but different meanings uh -huh, and different pronunciation. For example, sede with the open E. 
Sede is the headquarters of a company. A sede. Now, sede. Sede means first. Sede. Estou com sede. Yeah? Well, what I will say next is useful for those of you who want to sound more like a Brazilian. <laughs> There are some contexts where the closed E, only the closed E, when it's not the strongest syllable in a word, can be reduced and pronounced as E. Mm -hmm. So, for example, passaporte, so I have the closed E in a final position in a word, yeah? And it's not stressed, it's not the stressed syllable. Passaporte can be pronounced as passaporte. Passaporte. Embarque. Embarque or embarque. Embarque, yes. O passaporte, o embarque. Bear in mind that although these reductions are recurring, they vary from speaker to speaker, from region to region. Yeah. Well, E has only one way to be pronounced. E. E. It may have the written mark on it or not. It will always be E. Visto. Visto. Polícia, the same E. -E. Polícia Federal. Polícia Federal. Before we move on, give the lesson a thumbs up if you find it useful. Huh? This way YouTube is more likely to recommend it to others that may find it just as useful. Mm -hmm. O has two distinct oral sounds. A more open one, O, and a more closed one, O. Let's see the open sound first. The open sound is similar to the first part of August. August, O. O, oh, O. Oh. In Portuguese, we have this sound in words like passaporte, passaporte, foto, foto, óculos, óculos. It may have the written mark on it or not, but if does, it must be open, yes? Well, the closed O, O is like the first part of words like go, show. A useful tip. Take the word show, uh, break it in two parts. Show, u. Show, u. We want the first part. Show, show. Now omit the sh sound. O, o. There you go. There you have the closed O sound in Portuguese. O. We found the sound in words like aero. Porto, not aeroporto, no, aeroporto, aeroporto, ônibus, ônibus, metrô, metrô, it may have the written mark on it or not, but when it does, it must be closed, yes. What I will say next? is useful for those of you who want to sound more like a Brazilian, huh? There are some contexts where the closed O, only the closed O, when it's not the strongest syllable in a word, can be reduced and pronounced as U. U. For example, I can say aeroporto or aeroporto. Aeroporto. Piloto. Piloto. Piloto, yeah? Bear in mind that although these reductions are recurring, they vary from speaker to speaker and from region to region. Oh, guess what? It has only one way to be pronounced. Yes, O will always be O. It may have a written mark on it or not. It will always be O. Turista. Turista. Número do voo. Número do voo. Now, before we see the nasal sounds, I would like to invite you to become a member of Plain Portuguese. Yes, become a member of our channel by clicking on the join button. That way, I can keep creating high quality content to you. 
First of all, to make nasal vowel sounds, air must escape through your mouth and your nose at the same time. Humming, mm, humming helps to increase awareness of how much your nose must vibrate when pronouncing the nasal vowel sounds. Hum a little and see how much it vibrates. Um, oh, it does. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, in Portuguese, vowels are nasalized when they have this mark chill over them, which only happens with a and o. Yeah. And also, when vowels are followed by an m or n at the end of a syllable or at the end of a word. So these are the two, I mean, the three cases where vowels are nasalized. When they have the chill over them, which only happens with a and o, and when they are followed by an m or n at the end of a syllable or at the end of a word. Let's see each vowel separately with examples. Well, a becomes a. Compare both sounds. A, a. A, a. Well, your nose must vibrate when you say a. Uh. So, say like huh. Huh? Like huh? Huh? <laughs> Drop the initial huh. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, there you go. Avião. Avião. Rampa. Uh, uh. Rampa. Segurança, ansa, segurança, avião, rampa, segurança. Muito bem. Well, é, when nasalized, becomes em, em. See, I don't press my lips, I don't press my lips at the end of the sound. I don't say em, no, em, em. Yeah? A useful tip. Say the word name, name. Say it again, but then stop before you press your lips, like name, before pressing, name, name. Now omit the initial N sound. Em, em, em. There you go. Viagem, viagem. Repita. Bagagem. Bagagem. Emergência. Ência. Emergência. Emergência. Passagens. Passagens. Now, e when nasalized becomes in. In, in, similar to the final sound of king, sing without the g sound, yeah? So, king, sing, in, in, carimbo, it's not carimbo, eh? carimbo, imposto, imposto, cinto de segurança. Cinto de segurança. Check-in. In. Check-in. O, when nasalized, becomes on. On, as if you were meditating. On, without pressing your lips. On. On. Companhia aérea. Companhia aérea. Vou confirmado. Vou com confirmado. Ponto de táxi. Ponto de táxi. Uhum. <laughs> well, o when nasalized becomes um. Um. Don't press your lips. Don't go like um. No. Um. Um, a different way of meditating. Um. Número um. Número um. Mundo. Mundo. Yes? Well,
Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson as much as I did. Thank you for watching it. Yes, it's always a pleasure to have you here. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up in case you enjoyed. See you next time. Até a próxima. Tchau. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.